Hello, welcome to Cold School again. Um, so I got a question about uh, air boxes, and uh, so I guess for me, I, I mean, I know why I do it, and they're not necessary depending on what radiator and what uh, fan you use. But uh, for the design that I do for the, a lot of the videos for the little small radiator, I mean, This fan is only three inches in, in uh, diameter. So if this fan were to be, uh, this is not the same radiator here, but if you were to put that fan flush with that radiator, you'd only get air through the size of the uh, circumference or diameter about that big through the radiator. So you'd see you'd only get that little bitty area. So the reason for the air boxes is that. And uh, so what I do, I mean, it's just second nature now. When I'm in a store, a big big uh, box store or hardware store or anything, I just grab boxes. And I've always got, you know, the fans and, the, you know, the different fans and stuff on my mind. What I'm, I want to build a little tiny air conditioner that you can put on a glass of water and just use it at your desk. So if I'm in the store and I see a little box then uh, that's what I, uh, I just grab boxes. So when I first started, as, and I explained in the other video, when I was using, matter of fact, this is the radiator I used to use, the very radiator. So I had the, the well nut in there and I would put the little 45 degree uh, nylon barbed fitting in there. I'd put one on the top and I, that's how I did it. So I don't have one with me, but I used a battery box from a big box store, it was just a black battery box for your car or a, or a boat, might have been for a boat. And uh, the radiator that I had, well, there was this radiator. As you can see, this box is about the same. Let me try to get a better view here. Actually, let's spin it sideways if we can. I'm trying to do this with, there we go. Sorry for the, for the, for the disarray here put that back there we go so if you were to use that uh this is actually i think a battery box oh this is a toolbox but it's about the same size so what i did is i took my heater core you see how that fits perfectly in there but you have this space here so you want to block it off so what i did on mine is i took this phone i mean this was in the early days but it worked perfectly i mean it just doesn't get any better this blue foam I would get at, um, I think I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and cut the blue foam. And what I did was I just put the blue foam inside the parameter of the area I wasn't using. But I didn't set it at the bottom. I ran a border all the way around. That's all I did and it fit perfect. But the battery box was probably about this tall. So I would put like one inch here one inch at the bottom and then the battery the black battery box was a probably two inches wider so i had a blue strip of this down the side and all the way around and then on the opposite side of the box i cut a hole just like this and i put this fan in there and that's what i did and i used that probably for three years off grid in texas uh, where it was really hot and humid so then I thought, well, that box is kind of big. So what I did, I measured the box, and then I measured the distance of the one I had, and then I measured my square inch uh, surface, and I thought, wow, I wonder if I could find a smaller box that would fit right on it without I wouldn't have to put this, this framing all the way around. And then I found these boxes, and these are like uh, from a office supply store. And I thought, wow, that, that looks pretty cool. I wonder if that would fit. And if you look, 
it's almost perfect. And if you look towards the, I mean, well, it, so let me give you a better, so put, if you were to attach that there, which I did, and then the height, I mean, it is, it's almost like it's built for that radiator. So I use these and I, I've put two fans, single fans, and uh, then I went from there and I thought, well, this material is good if you're going to just use it at home and everything. And then I, since I'm sending these overseas and to other people and I give them away, I, I don't really have a desire to sell them. I, I give them away the, the air conditioners. But, uh, so I found these boxes and these are actually more durable than that. They're not better for storage. They're just more durable for what I wanted. So you take that off. And then uh, this box here. Of course, like I've explained in other videos, the radiator that I use is a little different than that one. It's, it's not quite as uh, wide. It's this one here. But it has those uh, edges, that little angle iron aluminum that I can screw the uh, attach the box to. So just as a general idea, you can see that it's hard to tell but the one on the bottom's a little wider oops had to knock everything over it just a little bit so they're about the same size but this one has that little lip that i use for the air box so uh this box here as you can see also looks like it's made but it's a little shorter than the white box but you can still attach it which i've done so um, you don't need an air box I, I i probably retract what i said in another video about using a pc fan and then uh, uh putting it farther away from the uh radiator i don't that's not necessary as long as the cooling area is for, is is uh, sufficient for the fan to get through but if you if you if you hold up a, a a match and it's ice cold and you blow a fan across it, it's only going to pick up the temperature off that one match. And I'm just using a match as a, as an object. But if you had four matches and the fans blowing across or pulling air across, and they're all ice cold, the air's going to be a little colder. If you had a hundred, you know matchsticks that were ice cold and the fan was pulling air across them it'd even be colder so that's how the uh, radiators work like i showed in the other video um this was a perfect example of these two one's a pc radiator and one's a car heater core but as i've showed before there's not a the air is going to blow so fast through there it's not even going to pick up very much of the temperature of the uh of off the fins so basically i'd be saying that's a hundred matchsticks that are ice cold and the air is trying to transfer that and then you take that and that's a thousand matchsticks that are ice cold and you're uh taking getting the temperature across that but if you were to use this fan on that radiator you're still reducing your 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 uh, surface space again so you're only getting half as much so what the reason I use an air box is because I can take this little bitty three inch fan and I can utilize all of that, all this radiator space, all the radiator space is available and it's converted down and condensed into this three inch fan. So if I put that fan directly against the radiator, then I would only be using, say, five matchsticks that were ice cold with the air blowing across. This way I get a thousand matchsticks, so to speak, as you know, as an analogy. Of course, matchsticks get hot, but <laughs> I was just trying to think of something that you would understand the size of, uh, of a fin, every fin on a uh, heater core radiator matters. Every single fin is holding cold temperature and so the more of those that you have the winds blowing across that's being pulled from the fan the more you have the colder the air is going to be it's like turning up the notch a little colder a little colder a little colder every time you add an extra fin 
So anyway, that's just a quick video on the basics. And uh, like these are my two favorite boxes that I use. I don't use this, the battery box style anymore because you have to fill in all the airspace. But these two almost fit perfectly on this radiator here as well, which is just like this one, except the tubing for uh, both tubes were on top. That was the only reason. This one had one on top and one on the side. So I switched to this style, style here for a couple of years and then uh, eventually switch to this style. And I guess I'll throw this in here too while, while I'm videoing this. These come with a tube uh, welded on here and one on here and they come straight down. I cut them off and then I uh, am putting my, and it's upside down right now, putting my uh, inlet on one side at the bottom and the outlet return on the opposite side on top which I'll show you that here it's kind of dark in here um, so this one here the way I'm building it I've got the inlet tube on the bottom and then I've got the return tube on top that was an accident here. I, was, I put it on the bottom. I just closed them up. But as you can see, that's where the tubes used to be. So I closed that up, put your return there. So when you put this on top of here, as you can see, the inlet's over here and the return is over here. So the the water pump is here. It goes up and it crosses over and it goes up to that bottom uh, brass fitting, which is directly under the tank. And then it goes through the heater core, fills the heater core up to the top. Then it returns through this 90 here back into this drain. And then it crosses over to this side and drains down. And I control that speed with this uh, pump here, which has a dial. You can go left or right and make it faster or slower, or I could attach another uh, speed controller like this to the water pump, and then that way I could slow the water down. But this, right now, I just have it where you can dial it, and then I have this little cover I put on there. I know this doesn't look attractive, but the reason they're crisscrossed is because if you try to, I had them going straight out, but if you fold the, the lid down, the latex would crimp so this way the latex oops i'm sorry the latex twists instead of crimps or bends it's kind of like if you're doing an an exercise side to side you're not uh bending any but if you bend over to exercise you're creating a 90 degree angle but if you twist you're you're not bending anything you're twisting something like 15 degrees so this way, when you close the heater core, I mean the heater core, when you close the lid, none of the uh, tubing crimps or bends because it's actually twisting, it's rotating. It's not loose, it's just this is flexible, so it can twist without crimping. And then I actually put uh, drains on these to make them more convenient too, so I did that. So that's uh, how that works. So that's uh, one of the things. That's why I use an air box is because of the fan that I use. So as long as I'm using this little bitty fan on a big radiator, I have to have an air box to separate the two to grab air from here to here. Because if I just put it directly here, I won't be able to get any air from anywhere else. So that's about it. I'll, I'll put some uh, lists and links to, uh, I don't know if I'll do it today, but I'll put some lists and links in there so you can, I, I don't want to really mention it on the video. A lot of people are getting sued and everything, so I'm trying to keep that to a minimum. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps. hope helps anybody that wants to use a PC fan or, or an inline fan, and that's why I use an air box, because I use the little 3-inch or the 4-inch diameter fans on a big radiator. So hope you hope it helps. Bye-bye.